good morning. How is it going, you lovely, lovely people? Today is Monday the 10th of August. Yeah, Monday the 10th of August. Um, I slept way too good last night. I didn't want to get out of bed. Um, I didn't have to, but like there's free breakfast in the hostel, and if it's like half nine, it's like, I really should get up to save myself some money. So yeah, got up. Um, just been to take my take my laundry to get done. Um, so yeah, and it was like 75p per kilo, and then they were like, it was just shy of two kilos. And they put down 1.9. So like, just make it to round it up. Like I don't even care if you round it up because that means I have to change. Like, it will cost like maybe a penny more. I was like, I don't want to carry around the change. Just round it up. Um, so yeah, now heading down to get some like drinks and snacks and things because I'm going to sit back in the hostel today and um, go and research the next few parts of my journey um, because one of the places I'm going has no internet pretty much so um, got to make sure I know where I'm going and what to do and stuff like that before I'm there um, and yeah, it's going to be a chill day really so and I don't mind spending a chill day here um, because it's a really nice place, like go out and just walk about the streets and just enjoy it. Um, I really like it here in Dogger, so yeah, just gonna be a chill day, just getting things done. I decided I hate travel bottles, like the, the carry on bottles. Every single time I put them in my bag, no matter what I do, like they always end up like leaking out. I don't know if you can see in the bottom of that bag, it focuses, but no, it always leaks out. And like that bottle, I've used it like, or those two bottles, I've used it like twice in like a week and they've pretty much the rest of it's emptied into the bag. So annoying. Every time I get back they just open and just spew their dust everywhere. So annoying. Also just to clarify, I have been showering. I've showered more than twice. It's just that I've been using free shampoo and shower gel. So yeah just in case you guys think you know dirty hobo traveling the world and smelling no I'm not that guy that stinks out the door. So noisy absolutely everywhere in Asia, everywhere, it's just impossible to vlog. So, so all these last few days, like it's just all you can hear is probably the, the traffic noise and just mouthing something. Um, but I haven't actually looked over the footage yet, but it's always it's so hard to get away from the noise. Um, but it's Asia, you know, what are you going to do? Um, so I've been sitting back in the hostel for a few hours now, planning the next two places. Um, I got some tips from um, a couple of guys last night about, um, about Pan, Panang Duran, um, which is going to be uh, not my next spot, but stop after that. We've got tips from them. And um, my next stop after here, which hopefully I'm going tonight. I've actually booked a bus. Um, but there's like two buses going tonight at 5 and 5.20, so I'm just going to rock up just before 5 and if I don't get on the 5 o'clock, I hope I'll get 5.21. Um, so, yeah, uh, and I'm going up to an island, little complex of islands um, called Karamanjawa. Um, so I'm going to go up there, do some diving hopefully, um, and also there's a possibility that you might be able to, or I might be able to, um, like you can go into the tourist centre and basically book a boat and like rent a tent and some supplies and they'll just take you out onto this island and you'll just be there by yourself for like a night or however long you want to stay there um, and the boat will pick you up the next day so I think I'll probably end up doing that as well, I think that'd be awesome to do, just have, have like an island, just a desert island to yourself. Um, so yeah. Um, but now I've had enough of sitting down for a while, so I'm going to head in. I'm going to need to get some supplies because the island's like that I'm going to. There's like nothing there, so well there is stuff there, but it's a lot more expensive and stuff like that. So I need to get some sun cream um, and yeah, a few other little bits and pieces uh, before I head up. Um, and yeah, just to get out. But it's very warm today. It's very warm. I'm melting. Also, um, on my Australian sim, I had a load of credit that was going to run out. Um, so I bought myself an international data pack, um, so like you can use the data while you're abroad. And that ran out yesterday, and it was just so handy to have. Like it's just literally just got on your phone and research something. Um, 
So I went and asked the reception, like, is, is there such a thing as like a data sim here? And they're like, yeah, just go down to the, the shop just down the road, go down there, it'll register it for you. And it was £2.50 for three gigabytes. It's like, hello, not, not, uh, oh, <laughs> hello. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so how can you not take that? It's like, barely any money, like, and then you get three gigabytes, which I'm not going to use by the time I leave here. So, it's like, no brainer, really, absolute no brainer. So, I managed to find some sandwiches. This one's chicken, this one's cheese, but the cheese is on top for some reason, I don't know why. Reason why. Got a free donut as well thrown in, and apparently, my name is, it focuses, Mr. Coney. Not Tony, Coney. There's a lot of art in Georgia at the minute, which is really cool. The stuff keeps popping up every day, like every time you walk down the street, there'll be something new. Um, so yeah, even like these, and there's like sculptures, there's sculptures over there, but they've been like graffitied. Um, they yeah, absolutely love like when they have art, like especially like local art as well, like the stuff they've done. Um, so yeah, I absolutely love stuff like that, it's so cool. One thing I've noticed here in Indonesia is you don't see as much fresh fruit as um, what the other Asian countries I've visited have. Like there's always like stalls everywhere and stuff. People selling fresh fruit, fresh juice and stuff like that. There's not as much here. It's a little bit harder. And like if you buy in a supermarket, it's so expensive. Um, so yeah, it's a little bit harder if you want like fresh stuff um, as opposed to like basically just crap. Um, so. Yeah, it's one other thing, if you want to have fresh fruit here, you have to go hunting for it. Okay, so I'm now on the bus to somewhere, don't really know where. Um, I got a taxi from my hospital to the bus station because it was just quicker. Um, it cost me like 15 times as much as the bus, like the public bus, but um, so it still only cost like £1.50, like, it's nothing. So I suppose it's like 10p, which the bus is. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm heading in the right direction. Apparently I've got a change somewhere. I haven't got a clue where. Um, to get another bus. The guy just come around to collect money. And he's walked off. I don't know. Went to everyone else. And, yeah, I don't really know what's going on, guys. Um, I kind of got ushered onto this bus when I said, like, where I'm going. I'm sure we'll turn up. I'm sure it'll be okay. So I've been told to get off the bus, but apparently it's my stop. And I'm now being kind of ushered into a mini bus. This guy was sitting there and he was um, like trying to get me to go on the back of his motorbike. And if I'm going where I think I'm supposed to be going from my research online, that's like a few hours away. I don't know where I'm going on the back of the queue for a few hours. Like, I don't mind during the day or whatever. Um, but yeah, I don't really know if I'm going to the right place. And if I'm not, that kind of screws me up because there's only a few, only a few boats during the week. Um, that actually go there to the island. Um, so if I'm going to the wrong place, there's no way I'm going to get to where I need to go to in time, unless I like book a taxi and pay a lot of money. Um, so yeah, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. I literally have no idea what's going on. No idea. Okay, so we made it to the border, uh, the port town Jakara now, which is where I've got to get the boat to um, Karamanjawa tomorrow morning. So I made it. Midnight, it was so much hassle. Um, after the bus dropped me off, I got ushered into a minivan. Like, it was like 200,000. I was like, no, no. Although that's only like 10 pounds, I'd paid 45,000 to do about 80% of the journey. So he was trying to charge me 200,000 to do the last 20%. I was like, no, I'm not paying that amount. It's not about the money, it's about the principle of it. And I got talking to a guy who was sitting behind me. Um, he's actually from Korea, but he lives here now. Um, and he was telling me that he paid 14,000 for the same journey. And the guy was trying to charge me 200,000. I was just like, no, just... And then he asked 100,000. I was like, no, no, not happening. And then I said, I'll, I was going to pay 50. It's late, there's nothing else. So I was going to pay 50. And then he's like, no, no, no. And then we were just sitting there and sitting there. And then uh, he got talking to the Korean guy because the Korean guy spoke English. And um, he said, if we, if 
basically if I pay 75 then we can go now and I was like I'll tell you what I'll pay 70 and we can go now um, and yeah that'll be the end of it and literally I didn't want to pay that much but at the end of the day I had no other option um, it was just like a battle between him trying to rip me off versus me like waiting so yeah it was just an uh, absolute nightmare so yeah now I've got to find just a room for the night and I'm just literally past the place um, so yeah hopefully they've got space I don't really be wandering around um, all night trying to find somewhere to stay really so yeah hopefully they've got space as I just want to go in have no hassle and just yeah apparently this place has got good reviews so we'll see okay so they were full well I'm not sure whether they were full but um, yeah I went in and I don't think they spoke English in there so I um, couldn't really communicate that I wanted a room I said that I want a room for tonight and they're like tomorrow morning we're open tomorrow I was like that I want a room for tonight and they're like okay now come back tomorrow morning it's like okay and then I was standing outside and they came out and said, you got a booking? I was like, no, I just want to stay the night. And then they were like, okay, no, no. So, well, if, you, if, you, if you've got a booking, surely you won't be full. But, yeah. Um, so now I've just got to literally find somewhere. So, yeah, everywhere's quite expensive here, really. Not really any cheap accommodation. Um, so, it's a good thing that I got a... Uh, a sim card earlier so I can literally just search things um, so yeah this place looks big enough to have some rooms for you I reckon okay so I made it into hotel now um, um, that room here was 350 for a night um, I was even going to ask to do a better rate because I don't really can be bothered to walk around town it's and there's some expensive places in town as well we're talking like three four hundred like US dollars so yeah, it's gonna hit the hay and then I've got to get up early, well not too early, I think the boat's about 10, so get up, breakfast included in the price as well, so I'll be making the most of that. Um, and yeah, head to the boat and hopefully everything should all be sweet from there. Just tonight, it's just really annoyed me. Um, it happens every now and then in Asia, um, that someone will try and rip you off completely. Um, and it's just heartbreaking a little bit because basically everyone here is so nice um, and then every now and then there's, there's this one person that tries to take advantage um, so yeah and like I say it's, it doesn't work out to be that much money but when the locals are paying a lot less like you're talking like 20 times less it's 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 really heartbreaking um, so yeah I'm gonna hit hay now guys um, because it's been a long day um, although it's just been a personal admin day like pretty much the whole way through just done washing and collecting a few bits and pieces and doing some stuff on my laptop um, yes yeah, just been this evening it's just like taking its time it's now like half 12 at night um, so yeah and I'm just tired I'm just very tired so I'm ready for bed so remember guys always be kind to strangers you should never know what you be on yourself catch you later guys mm -hmm.